Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's get ready to head over to Geyser Grotto to find Yoko over there for some reason. Let's see, last time we defeated Ominous, so why don't we check out his bestiary entry there. Oh, they got one for Bahamut too. Okay, yeah, we can take a look at both of them. Sometimes they don't have all the minions that are with an asterisk holder there, but they do this time. And, well, yeah, he's always on edge. Well, he kind of wanted to set everything on fire. Heck, he even attacked his own soldiers. Holy cow. Oh, he's 35? Huh. I would have thought he was much older than that. But, okay. Well, at least Ominous was honest about his intentions of murdering people. Not so much the case with uh, Nikolai there. wonder what happened to him anyway. We haven't seen him in a while. Hmm. What do you mean, the ball? There's a whole bunch of balls around here. Yeah, what was he doing over in Grap Keep anyway? I mean, I know he was, like, researching and stuff, but maybe he was looking at... Uh, some of the research from before or something. I don't know. But, uh, well, yeah, it didn't work out too well. I suppose we did get, like, sealed equipment, so why not sealed magic, too? Too powerful. But we could use the help now. Well, yeah, he pretty much always... He likes setting things on fire. Especially when they're far away from him. You mean literally charming, like the status ailments, or just how cute it is, I guess, if you think Bahamut was cute there? I wouldn't worry about it. They were trying to set us on fire. Well, we all did what we had to do. Worked out the same either way. It kind of makes the decision point rather, well, pointless. But, okay. Well, no fake ending this time. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, we dealt with those guys. Good enough. Oh, yeah, there's also a, a cutscene that I want to show you guys that I accidentally skipped over last time. It was It's really short and not really that important, honestly, but I accidentally skipped over that when we were making our decision point there. And so once you choose the decision uh, to go against... Ominous, you get this little cutscene. What have you decided, Idia? The food should be shared evenly. It's the only fair thing to do. Yeah, we we could all use it, really. Idia. But Idia, dude, what's wrong? I know what you want to say, Tis. I understand it rationally, but I don't. <laughs> Dude, this won't do. She blew it. What would the Templar think? And that old geezer. Well, you don't work for either of them anymore. The girl you two trusted. This foolish girl and her fool friends. They've turned their backs on our world. Those insolent fools. No, there's still time. C come now, India. You'll reconsider, right? And yeah, this is where they would have the, are you really, or is that your final answer decision point where I skipped to last time? That's what I thought. Oh. And be sure to think things through this time. Oh, okay. I guess they just show us what happens if we chose to possibly reconsider and then you get spit back out and you can uh, change your setup, I guess, if you really wanted to, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Nothing extraordinary going on there. But, uh, okay, so before heading out, I would like to do a little bit of shopping. So let's see, now I would like to buy quite a few of those cross spears because they're strong against insects and undead type enemies. There's relatively few weapons that exploit multiple creature types like it and this would be pretty useful mostly for the insects since i already got the bows for undead but now i've got these if i want to use those 
And let's see, I would also like to buy some more battle items coming up here. I'm going to need quite a few of them, in fact. So, let's see, I want to get at least 20 of all the weak elemental items, except for Antarctic Winds, where I'm going to want 40 of them, because we're going to be running into a lot of enemies that can, where that would be useful against them. I don't know that I'll need wind, but I might as well restock while I'm at it. Okay, so we got all that, and okay, I think that's everything I want to do there. Let's change the setup a bit. Hey, we got the uh, SP back up to three there. Nice. But uh, okay, so with you, I'm going to leave him alone for now. I want to get a couple quick job levels for him, and then I'll switch him to what I really want him to use for Geyser Grotto. Okay, so we got that. Let's see, with Adia there, I think I'm mostly going to keep her the same, but I want her to have attack item amp somewhere. So, let's see, I think I want to replace physical attack up there. Her physical attack will already be good enough to get the job done anyway. So, let's see, I could go with that, and then, yeah, yeah, I think we can do this. Okay, so, yeah, go attack item amp. I still want to hold on to triple wield, though. And then you also want to have Whisker Sense and Barrage. Now, for physical attacks, uh, well, the physical attack 20% up support skill would be stronger than Barrage. But Barrage applies to everything, whether it's battle items or physical attacks. So I want to have that little bit of extra versatility there. Okay, and then for Magnolia, I think I just leave her alone for now. Yeah, we'll leave her like that. And then for Tiz, I also want him to become an item user. At first, I want him to be like a full-time uh, battle item user, but eventually I'll mix things up a little more so he has more options. But early on, I want to do it this way. Okay, so we got attack items and barrage. Okay, okay. Oh, but I actually want him to be a freelancer there. Get you set up back like that again. And then, let's see. Okay, so... I don't know that it really matters what my secondary skill is, but I'm just going to go with Warfare anyway. Maybe I'll switch to Shamanism or something later on. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave it like this for now. Okay, so we get all that. And then, yeah, we can't equip... Uh, Rod on the head there, though I would like to equip clothespins on most of my party members. Let's see, for now I'm going to leave Adia as a charioteer, but I'm going to change that in a bit here. But why don't we just go like that for now. In case you get that, then yeah, let's get you on a clothespin. There's going to be some enemies, that, or one enemy at least, that can put us to sleep. So I want to be ready for that since I don't have anything to equip that would boost my offense other than the lone power bracers there. Yeah, they kind of screw you over with that in this game. Accessories are less than exciting. But uh, okay, so with Tiz there, let's see, for now, well, I could go with the spears which i do eventually want to equip on him yeah why don't we do that for now but i'm gonna change it up a bit or well before we even get to where i want to go okay so let's see yeah i could just equip that for now do i not have uh oh there they are yeah i was gonna say wait a minute what happened to my other pieces of headgear there Okay, so I'll just start with this for now, but I'm not even going to list this in the video description because I'm going to change it after one battle anyway. Oh, but we uh, we could use a resting up after switching to Black Mage to get my MP restored a bit there. And I would like to fight one series of battles before getting over there. But before we do that, let's do a little chump craft real quick here. I would like to get... Uh, what is it? Uh, get the last two upgrades that I passed up on before. So let's see. Let's only do two of the stuffing 
and three of the scissors there. And I don't have to use the glue since my timing isn't that extraordinarily important. But it'll speed things up slightly. And it's cheap enough anyway without the third tier of upgrades. I would also like to try and unlock a song that would require me... Well, actually, there's a couple songs that I would need to completely fill up the tray with green chompers in order for that to all work out. Now, unfortunately, though, since the base rare spawn rate of the chompers is 4%, chances are one of them is going to be uh, not green. So, I'll see what I can do. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, well, I can always get the song later. But yeah, I need 24 green chompers at 100 CP... And for another song, I need them at 120 CP with the third upgrade, I think that is. But so far, so good. I figured let's go for the cheaper one first, and then we'll... Uh, what is it? Yeah, then we'll go after the other one, if I have the time here. Why don't we switch up the music a little bit here, too? With some of the stuff that I've already unlocked there. So far, so good. And we're almost filled up on the snake time button there, too. So that's pretty nice. Only two of the stuffing there. But yeah, it's not like I'm on like a really tight clock where I need that one extra second out of the glue in order to make everything work. No, no, not at this point, anyway. So I would not really worry about it. Now, at this point, wait until you see the words sale pending at the top there, then press the sell button. Oh, come on! I almost had the full tray. That screwed me out of the 50% bonus that I would have gotten, too. Ugh. Okay. Well, for now, I'm just going to wait until we get a little more uh, tacked on to the snack time button there, and then I'll start making my upgrades again. But yeah, that should be more than enough to get the job done. Very nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to go all out with the upgrades soon. But let's get up to like, yeah, eight seconds there. Okay, wait for it. Okay, so get all those and we should be good then. So fill up half of the tray there. Wow, look at that CP. Get a bit more on the next one, and then we'll be fine. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to unlock a song today. Oh, I'm definitely not now. Wow, look at that CP with all that bonus on there. But yeah, if I did unlock a song, it would have been incidental. But uh, yeah, let's upgrade the glue and the brush. I think that's everything I need to do here, so let's get out of there. The next thing I want to unlock is the final snack time upgrade, but that costs 200,000 CP. So yeah, that one could take a little while, but it's totally worth it. All of the remaining upgrades, well, the tool upgrades, that is, all of those cost 50,000 now. So we might as well get the snack time upgrade going first, and then we'll unlock the rest of those upgrades. That's pretty much all I need for a while there. But all right, we're all set and... Whoop, hold on. Uh, get out of there. Yeah. We're all set and ready to go. Let's head southwest to Geyser Grotto. And hopefully, I'll be able to get into a battle well, by the time I get there. Or I can just... Yeah, wait around for some enemies to show up. All right, and after that battle, we got up to level three Black Mage for you and Magnolia, so that we, we could learn, most importantly, Rod Lore, and less importantly, L Black Magic level two for Aspear, so that way I could use that to refill my MP, and that could help fuel Full Charge. Though, I'm not going to be using that for a while, but it's good to unlock while we were at it anyway. Okay, so now I want to get ready for my real setup for Geyser Grotto there. 
So let's see. We're still going to be using a magic setup here. But now I want to use uh, rod lore. And to better take advantage of that, I want to have triple wield so I can get another rod equipped as well. So, like, let's take a look at what my magic attack is like without that. As a fencer, yeah. Our magic attack is pretty terrible there. But, okay, so we have 89 there. And now we equip Rod Lore. And, yeah, look at that boost there. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so 89, that would be, uh, like, 45 more. That's, like, 50% more magic attack there it is really nice when i'm trying to learn abilities from physical attack job classes rather than magical ones there and i'm going to do mostly the same thing for magnolia but i'm going to make her slightly less of a pure magic user okay so yeah we got our spirit magic going there and then Okay, so I want... I'm not going to use either Spellcraft or Good Measure, actually. I want to use Triple Wield. And then, let's see. Okay, we got Attack Item Amp. We can go there. And then, yeah, Barrage will also work with Magic Damage as well. And finally, Rod Lore. And that'll really help out our uh, magic damage there but i want her to have attack item amp in the event that i run into a certain enemy there but with you he'll be fine i want him to be more of a pure magic user there okay then with adia i want to make her into a cat mancer temporarily mostly for the learning support skill there oh yeah i equipped physical attack up there off screen for the one battle, but no, nah, I don't really need it. But uh, yeah, why don't we get back on a tick item amp? But yeah, so I just want to learn a new cat mancy while we're here, and then I'll switch back to uh, what was that charioteer there? Okay, so we got that. Okay, oh, um, yeah, I want you to have warfare for now. Okay, so we got all that. You're looking good to go. Okay, then with Tiz, I think I've got everything I care about him, or for him. He's going to be a pure magic user, whereas Adia is pretty much going to be almost a pure attacker. But yeah, I, I want to have a lot of party members with attack item amp ready to go. Although, I could use a little bit of healing. And Tiz has some MP, so why don't we have you help us out there? Okay, you guys ready to go? Okay, got you as fencers. And let's see, yeah, let's get you back on Warfare. And I think we're good to go. So let's check out Geyser Grotto and see what's new in this place. Well, I mean, this wasn't here in the first game, but it is now. So what are we doing here? Guys? Can I move? So this is Geyser Grotto. I can barely see with all the steam. Well, we'll look out for the monsters. We have to hurry. There's no time to lose. You. What's up? Is everything okay? You're not yourself. Yeah, you seem more agitated than usual. It's Yoko, isn't it? What's so dangerous about this place? It's just, you know, dangerous. Well, everywhere is dangerous. We have to find her, and quickly, you know, come on! You, cool it. Well, we're in a hot spring. That would be kind of hard to do. <sighs> there won't be anyone to save Yoko if we get ourselves killed being careless. Hustle, don't hurry. Remember? Take a deep breath, then we can take action. Well, I don't know if this is the best place for that, but okay. Right, sir. But, uh, okay, so let's see what we got. Oh, well, okay, we could chat a little again. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, 
Oh. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, what is it with this place? Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose you are a scholar and all that. Well, we're here! Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's get a move on. Let's see what we got over here, then. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like what they did in the after years there with the phases of the moon. Each room or screen of the dungeon has some effects like that. In this case, magic is going to deal a lot more damage. Uh, not so much with physical attacks, which is partially why I've got all the battle items that I do there. Oh, and we get more party chat. Oh, yeah, and physical defense, although I don't really care about that at all. Ha! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, okay. Well, we've got plenty of magic. Items are pretty much immune to these effects, which is part of why I'm, I'm using them. Not all of them, but most of the effects don't, don't influence battle items oh yeah yeah physical attacks are still okay here but uh yeah we'll deal with that when we get to it oh well we can always use our favorites ah <laughs> I didn't realize he was gonna say that again but uh, we could switch it out okay so from here let's see I would like to take the upper left path first so let's head on over there I may eventually teleport out of here once I've gotten the the catman see I want but we'll see okay so here we've got a new enemy let's see which bugs and well they're Magic users, but I can still get some good damage in on them with magic anyway. Let's see, these guys can put you to sleep and cast Blizzara on you, so you want to watch out for that. Okay, so let's see, with these guys, I probably just want to use my physical attacks, really. Well, Adia could do that, even without the cross spears. But as a Cantmancer, her weapon proficiency with spears is pretty terrible. So I think I'll just go with tramples on these guys. And that'll get the job done. Oh, I could, like, examine them. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I can do that again later. Yeah, those guys don't have what I want. And we've got even more of them. Okay, so this time around, why don't we have Tiz get the job done, examine them, and, oh, they are weak to fire, just like all the other insects of this family. So, yeah, we'll get a few bomb fragments in there. That should be more than enough to get the job done. Oh, yeah, I'll deal 11.5 damage at base, but Barrage boosts it a little more than that even. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so which one are these guys? Shooter bugs! Okay, I think... Yeah, these are the guys that have the Catmancy I would like to learn. So why don't we... Yeah, let them live for a little while so that they can use it. Doesn't matter who they use it on. Wow, that actually hurt a little bit. Ow! Quit it. Let's try that one again, pal. That is not the one I wanted. Ow! Now this is... Getting dicey. Okay, there it is! Spirit Leech! Ha-ha! There you go! So yeah, basically just a Drain, or drain MP Catmancy. Kind of like the Aspear spell. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so with 
with the rest of these guys now. Let's see, why don't we put our magic to use here? I'm just thinking if I want to use Blazing Wolf or just go all out with Heat here. I think I want to go with Heat. Yeah, why don't you just go with that and you can do the same thing, Magnolia there. With good measure, that'll help out quite a bit. Well, I mean on you, that is. But Barrage can get the job done too. Yeah, not bad there. Got the Catmancy and everything going. Okay, so now let's switch Adia back to Charioteer. With Missile... Well, actually, hold on. I need to heal up a little bit. But I do want her back on Miscellany because there's quite a few more new enemies in the dungeon here. Okay, so we got all that. Get back there for equipment. Now, I want to go over to the spears because most of the enemies are going to be insect type or undead. Though, I may switch it around periodically depending on the situation. But, uh, okay, so yeah, you definitely want to have the ninja garb and power bracers. Everyone else use clothespins in case you get attacked by, uh, what was that, witch bugs? Yeah, those guys have the sleep ability. Now, let's see, there's nothing on the path to the right there, but yeah, maybe just reveal that part. Finish up what we got on this path. Kunai, which is, I think, basically the same thing as the Mungos that we got earlier, except it has slightly more attack power, but they both have 20% evade, so that's pretty nice. So, if I'm using a setup where I don't care about my physical attacks, actually, I, I don't really care here for Tiz. Yeah, I should have done that in the first place with him. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, so you could equip the Kanai as a defensive weapon, just to have something there. You can't equip dual shields without an ability, so don't even bother with that. But uh, yeah, I would have used the uh, Mongoche otherwise. But uh, okay, so we're looking good here. We're all at full. Let's get out of here. Let's see, do I even want to rest up at the inn? Probably not. Now, I haven't used nearly enough MP for that to be problematic so let's see the other thing i'm thinking about is maybe i should go with a spell craft here the reason i like good measure is because it boosts my damage without increasing my mp cost like spellcraft does eventually i'll probably want to use spellcraft on one of the screens but for now i think i'll stick with what i got the problem with working on Fencer, though, now, is I can't really use Full Charge because I would need to have the ability to restore my MP, either with Spirit Leech or Aspear, and I can't equip the Support Command or the Secondary Command to do that and still have Spirit Magic at the same time. So, for now, we're just going to have to do the best we can with what we got. But, uh, yeah, let's get out here to save after getting all that good stuff, and then we'll continue onward with the other path. Alright, so this time, let's take the lower left path to the end. And find some new enemies! Okay, what do we got here? Land Turtles and Slayer Bugs. So, let's see, with these guys... Well, the Land Turtle is weak to water, and they're basically like their uh, precursor they will default and they have reflection angle so battle items are the way to go against them and let's see with the slayer bug there they're weak to fire and let's see they have an instant death attack that they could use on us so we'll want to be careful there so let's see to deal with these guys let's see i think i might want to actually use an arctic wind this time around so let's see, with uh, exploiting an elemental weakness and uh, what, yeah, with attack item amp, that might be enough to kill them, but why don't we just go with a single Antarctic wind to follow it up anyway, just in case. Yeah, it's going to be a little short on damage there. So yeah, don't use magic against the land turtles because of their reflect that they could buff themselves up with 
So, and this is why I try to hold uh, my battle item uses back while having you attack or use his magic whenever we don't have a land turtle. But we do have a new enemy, Zombie Samurai. Those guys, there is nothing special about them. Kind of like the Bone Knights, I guess we met up with their, or whatever the ones were in Grab Keep. I forget their name, but whatever. Uh, let's see, yeah. Let's examine them, and then I think three heat spells will be enough against them. All Both of these guys are weak to fire, so we should be able to exploit that pretty easily. But yeah, I think they just have like, uh, like a rash slash attack. I don't even know what it does, because they don't live long enough for that to matter. But I am living long enough to fight more of these guys. Yep, same battle as before there. So let's see. Let's go with probably four Antarctic Winds. Yeah, unfortunately, I just don't quite have enough damage with three Antarctic Winds and the Magnifying Glass. Otherwise, what I would have done in that first battle was use the Magnifying Glass and then three Antarctic Winds. But yeah, it just wasn't enough. Maybe I could use two characters, like maybe examine one and then use some Antarctic Winds and have another character do the same with the other. But in this case, yeah, I don't really have much of a choice. This is why I bought so many of the Antarctic Winds, because I just don't have enough room for Waste Knot on everyone. So, but we don't really have much of a choice with the uh, land turtles there. But yeah, you saw that move that the... Was it the Slayer Bug used, I think, to summon more help there. But yeah, we didn't get a chance to get a look at it. Oh, well. But let's see, the left path is a dead end. So, oh, uh, how's my HP looking? Uh, okay, yeah, we didn't take any damage, so we're good. Let's take the other path. Let's see, are these guys new? I don't think... No, they're the same as before. But we might as well put heat to use here. Now, since I do have good measure equipped on you, I would rather not use Blazing Wolf for the magic attack buff. And, yeah, as you can see, we don't really need it anyway. But we do need to fight a new enemy. Let's see, Shooter Bugs. These guys... Or wait, no, I did fight them earlier, but they... Or what is it? I didn't examine them in that battle. But yeah, we might as well do that now. Okay, so with these guys... Let's see, as far as examining goes... Okay, so I need... Well, if I was to use physical attacks, I would need four of them. So instead, I think I'm just going to go with examine... And then a few bomb fragments there. That ought to get the job done. Or I could have Magnolia go after them. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we do that? Uh, yeah, let's back up there a little bit. Let's have Magnolia uh, examine them. And then, let's see. With three heat spells, I think that would be enough to take them down. Yeah, they don't have very much... HP there. Yeah, we'll have enough damage. Alright, very nice. So if I have the opportunity, I would prefer Magnolia to use magic, but if we're stuck in a situation like this, you pretty much have to go with the battle items. I hope I'll have enough to, to yeah, kill these guys. Let's see. Okay, so that would be 1125 base damage. So, let's see, times four, that's 3,500. But, because I have Barrage, I think I'll have barely enough damage to still kill the land turtle there. Oh, yeah, we'll be good now. That is the power of Barrage. Yeah, it's really useful in so many different situations. But, uh, okay, so, with these guys, they are both insect- well, we got insect and undead enemies. That's one of the reasons why I have cross spears. 
equipped on the, uh, I think she can even take these guys out all by herself. Barely. But enough. But yeah, I think that's uh, good enough there. Yeah, I really do not want to push my luck in this dungeon. I don't even know what Stampede does. Whatever we just learned for Fencer there. Oh, that's a support skill. Okay. What do we got with that one? Oh, no, I, I didn't want to uh, equip that there. What? Oh, yeah, I had JP up there. But, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that one, the counterattacking one. Nah, I, I wouldn't really care about that, especially for her. But even on, like, one of my fighters, I wouldn't want to do that. So, we'll leave well enough alone there. Okay, yeah, we got your JP up back. And, okay, I don't think we need to heal, did we? Nope. Well, I mean, we could have gotten a little healing, but here we got... The amulet, which boosts your intelligence by 10. So that's pretty nice. It is really, really important with spirit magic because they account for your intelligence stat, not only for your magic attack, but also the way the damage algorithm works. So it basically takes your intelligence stat into account twice. So you definitely want to give the amulet to your pure spirit magic user. It's way better on spirit magic than any other type of magic that only uses magic attack there. But uh, yeah, I do want to heal up just a little bit. There we go, got all of that. Okay, then, yeah, you got everything I need here. Oh, huh, seems like Agnes is gone now. I guess she's just taking another bathroom break, I suppose. Oh, never mind. Carry on. But yeah, this time let's go to the end. All right. And after that battle, let's see. What do we got here? I want to double check my setup. Oh, okay. I did equip that. I was concerned because I thought I might have left the ninja garb on her. But uh, no, no, we're good. Okay. So let's see. Coming up here, we have a fixed encounter. Not really a boss fight. But it might as well be treated as such. Okay, so for this one, let's actually change the setup here a little bit. I'm just thinking, can I do this with only three BP? I think I can. Well, actually, I don't know that it would actually matter, because I think you only fight the one battle. But I'll equip myself appropriately anyway. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, let's get you back on the cap there. And yeah, I think that ought to be good enough here. Okay, any healing? I don't think so. Okay, all my commands are good to go. For mini boss time against Rathlesia. Whoa, a lot of those guys. So let's see, with these guys, uh, what is it? They're all weak to fire, and they're considered plant-type enemies. They could... Well, they got some parasitism attack, or something or other. I don't know. I think it's just, like, HP drains or something. I never let them live long enough for anything to matter, so we'll just go with... Yeah, magnifying lens, and then heat, heat, needle. That should be enough to kill all of them. Or more, oh yeah, more than enough to get the job done there. Easy enough. But yeah, normally you wouldn't meet up with these guys until, like, way later in the game. But at least it get, gives you the chance to get the examine done in advance. That's one thing I like that they do with this game. There's a lot of instances like that where you'll meet up with an enemy that'll become... Well, I mean, a mini-boss or something that'll become a regular enemy later on, but you already examined them. Okay, so let's see. With you, let's get you back onto the previous setup there. Actually, only for, like, one battle, but, eh, whatever. Uh, where was it? Rod Lore! There we go. Yeah, I really like using Rod Lore, or any weapon lures in this game, especially if they're cheap. They're a lot better. 
I was gonna say a lot better than the first game, but uh, well, they could be useful there too at times. But uh, yeah, let's get you back on your rod set up there. Okay, then everything else I'll leave alone for now. But I do want to fight one more battle before going to the next screen there. Alright, now after that battle, I want to make some pretty substantial changes to my party here. Although not so much for Adia and Tiz. But let's see, we're not going to be using battle items. So we might as well go back to physical attack up there with, yeah, triple wield and barrage. That'll be good for you. Let's see, let's get you back onto, yeah, a physical attack up. I could even use triple wield for him this time around. And what else? Uh, Precog and Barrage. Okay, that ought to be good enough for you. For weapons, let's see, I want to use Cross Spears on the two of them. So that's partially why I bought a bunch of them in advance of actually using them. Okay, so we got that. Then let's get a black belt on you. Now for the other two, I'm going to need to make some very substantial changes here. So let's see. Let's stick with JP up. But then, yeah, I'm going to set them up for physical attacks here. Okay, so physical, triple. Let's go speed and barrage. And then for Magnolia there, actually... No, our secondary commands won't matter on the next screen anyway. I was thinking about switching to Warfare, but no, there's really no reason to do that. Okay, so we got all that. And then, let's see, with you, let's go with Knives, since Fencers already have uh, optimal proficiency with them. Let's see, let me check out the swords real quick, just kind of double check that well that you would be a little better off with ice brand on attack power and it is not ice elemental despite the name it only lets you use it as an item to imbue your attacks with water elemental damage but i don't really care about that okay so yeah nothing's going to be weak to water over there anyway but I think I will go with that anyway. Why don't we go with that and maybe serrated shield? Let me double check that real quick. Get the... Uh, actually, let's go with the Kanai on him. Okay, so if I gave him a different weapon there, yeah, we would lose a lot of attack power. So I think I will stick with the serrated shield on him. I was thinking about making some last second changes, but uh, no, no. But yeah, let's just go all knives on Magnolia there. Your setup actually really doesn't matter coming up here. I would actually recommend just killing the encounter rate and yeah, just walk through. It's totally not worth it, but I'm obsessive. So we'll just have to go with this. Okay, then let's go, yeah, with ninja guards. On the two of them. Do I even really need clothespins here? Let me see. No, we don't. Your accessories really don't matter. But we might as well go with uh, the black belts there. And then, what is it? Did I, didn't I have... Uh, I thought I had something else. No, that's all I got. Okay, we'll just leave that alone. I'm just... Yeah, focusing too much on things. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, we're all healed up. I think we're good to go. So, let's see what this spring is all about. Oh, okay. So, yeah, all characters and enemies in a battle are going to be auto berserked at the start here. If you had Red Mage with the BP recover support skill... That could be useful here as a means of grinding, but I would not recommend it. There's an even better one later on. Yeah, Berserk is really terrible in this game. I mean, why bother using Berserk when I could just uh, brave a few times and then attack for even more damage? Doesn't exactly sound like the best 
plan. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? What do you mean? Uh oh. Ha ha. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, if I was using, like, magic-based job classes, I would equip them with the, what was it, the battle mace there, just because they have high proficiency with it, and it would have decent physical attack power, but not that much, and I'm probably not even going to be able to fight consecutive battles, or at least not very often. It'd be difficult to win a battle that quickly. So for now, let's go over here and pick up a Zeus's Wrath that I can't use here. But I can fight a new enemy, also known as Anai. Or Akaoni or something. Well, okay, we can uh, go for another battle then. But yeah, uh, Akaone is weak to lights. And yeah, they, they I don't think they default. But at least we can kill these guys easily enough. They have a little extra JP. Nothing too extraordinary though otherwise. So I will have to examine the Akaone later. Yeah, we can't do that while we're berserked. I forget if I can even do that with Bravely Second. I don't know. But, oh right, we got Bacchus Wine there. Clear out a little more of the map. Okay, then, let's see. Yeah, we do want to go up to the upper level there. After fighting these guys. But yeah, these guys are also part of why I got the Cross Spears. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, that's a passive ability that the Charioteer has. Yeah, why not? Let's go fight another battle. Even though we'll take a little bit of a beating first. Here we got another new enemy. Let's see. Fire Drakes! Guess what element they use against you? If you say water, I'm going to hit you. No, no. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah. They just deal fire elemental damage to you, I think. But, uh, all right, we got him. So, let's see, how are we looking here? Yeah, we didn't take very much damage. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're going to have to examine the Fire Drakes later. Oh, well. I'm going to be showing quite a few more random battles than I usually would in this dungeon because of the... Uh, what was it? Well, because each area has a different effect that drastically changes my setup. So, the way I handle enemies will be different from one screen to the next. But, if I could kill these guys more quickly, so much the better. Fortunately, even though we do have the Berserk effect going on here... We can still heal up outside of battle. Let's see. Yeah, just you guys took a little damage there. I don't even need to equip Miscellany again, but I'm going to anyway. But, uh, all right. So, let's see. With that, yeah, let's uh, yeah, get back to the four-way intersection there. And then take the middle path down there to the end. Uh, so yeah, when you use your conventional attacks with triple wheels, the damage will be... Well, it'll process the damage one equipment slot at a time. Let's see. Okay, we got Bravely... No, we can't use a uh, magnifying lens, even with Bravely Second. Oh, well. But yeah, so unlike using Trample, let's say, here they actually display the damage per equipment slot. But tr 
Trample does actually do that calculation still. But they just don't show it like that. They just add it all together off screen as one attack. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, let's get, uh, let's see, I think we're gonna have, yep, another enemy coming up here. Okay, so with these guys, well, I don't think there's anything I really can do. They are gonna be weak to fire, but I don't have any fire elemental weapons yet. And I should probably also heal up before doing that anyway. But, uh, let's see, yeah, you guys could use a little help. Hmm, maybe I should have had Tiz do the healing there. He had more MP, but I think we'll be okay. For mini boss time! Against Valtoras! Yeah, equipping knives would be good against these guys. But, uh, alright, got those out of the way. And what else do we got here? All right, made it out of there. Let's see what we got going on with this screen. Oh, okay. So, yeah, critical hit rate. I wonder if that affects the other other types of damage. I mean, obviously, there's physical. Uh, magic and battle items can potentially crit, at least with a support ability later on. But otherwise, I don't think they can. But I'm still going to be using physical and magical attacks going through this area. That's not exactly precision, but okay. Yeah, that would be a bummer. You better uh, kill the enemies before they kill you. I think it pretty much makes your crit rate like 100%. Something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, physical attacks. But magical will be fine around here because there's no debuff on that or a buff on magic defense for that matter but can we find yoko here before it's too late find out next time and let's play bravely second end layer this is the chibaylee signing off have a good day